Hello all and welcome to Wow Crochet Designs. My name is Mary and in today's tutorial we are working on, <laughs> it's so big now I can't even get it in the screen, we are working on part mm, <laughs> five of our pretty as a peacock blanket. Get excited guys. Now if you, you've been following us along you will know that this is, this has been very trying. <laughs> <laughs> and we are on the edge of almost finishing. We are going to do, I don't know how many rounds today. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Probably around eight to ten rounds. I can't even remember now. But we're <laughs> going to get to the part where we are stopping right here. Now the reason we're stopping is because I'm about to change the pattern. All right. So in the meantime, you will need every one of your colors for this particular part of your pattern you will need your four millimeter crochet hook that we've been using all along you will need your scissors to cut your threads I didn't cut mine and I'll explain in a minute you'll also eventually when you're finished need a darning needle to help weave in all these ends now the reason I didn't cut my threads is because you don't know this guys but I messed up my pattern so many times that I had to redo and do and do and redo, right? When I say I messed up, I messed up the increase rounds. Let's get some light here. There you go. I messed up the increase rounds. Let's get a close up. Um, and some of the rounds just didn't marry up, all right? So I did this tiny little swatch and didn't cut any ends. They're all attached to the blanket. Look at it. <laughs> That's going to be chaos to get undone. But I didn't want to cut my threads because I wanted to use these for the bigger blanket, yeah? But in the meantime, this is what you will be working on today. The next eight to ten rounds, there's going to be a lot more increasing, all right? So I worked on that patch, which really um, you'll be working on your blanket. Now, don't stress if your little chain spaces start to move, they actually move because of your increases, okay? Your increases are pushing everything aside, which is why I want to stop here. Otherwise, these chain spaces are going to look very messy, all right? Now, I believe I got to um, just here where I said chain three and I said chain two, double crochet in that same stitch and then add ooh, so far away and then added a stitch marker that's where I got to and I said that's it for part five head off on your own and weave in all those ends so that's all I wanted to say about it guys okay I'm gonna let you head off continue creating part five of your pretty as a peacock blanket and I will see everyone on our lives and discuss what we're going to do next good luck all Alrighty guys, where I left you off in part four were these stitches right here. We did our stitches across this way and then we chained one and we did one stitch in there. Alright, so now what we're going to do is in this round, too close now, in this round below we did our increase. Normally we wouldn't do an increase in this round. However, I found the bigger the blanket, the more increases I needed to do. So we're going to pop an increase in this round. So you're going to pop two in that first stitch right there. And then you're going to do your 16 across. I'm lying. Your 14 across because there's two there. Better make that 15 across. <laughs> Come on, Mary, you can do this. It was 16 in this round. So because we're adding one, it'll be 17 in this round. So two, three. Four, five, oops, and six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14, 15, 16, whoops, that's two in one, don't do that, 16, 
<laughs> Come on, Mary, you can do this. 17. Now, let's just count those again. Make sure I didn't make a mistake. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Now, from memory, if you really wanted to get pedant tickets, from this round here when we did an increase, it was 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So in this round, we are increasing by one at the beginning again. So it's 17. So you chain one, skip one, and you put two double crochets in there. And then you start your 17 across again. All right, so head off on your own. Uh, continue doing two double crochets in your first stitch then do your 15 across, chain one, skip one, two double crochets, 15 across, chain one, skip one, two double crochets, 15 across, get to the end of this section right here, just your last two stitches or your last stitch and I will meet you there once you're done. Alrighty guys, here we are at the end of this round. Now just a heads up, when you get to your section where you're chaining one and you're skipping your stitch, you're going into the next stitch, you need to put two double crochets in there, don't forget. So one and two. Now that's easy to forget. And if you do that one short, you're not going to know it until like another, until you get to the end of the round, which is going to take you a long time. So pop your double crochet in there. And if you're anything like me, you would actually count your stitches across. So what I'll do is go one, two, three, and then go four. We're not counting the chains. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, and seventeen. So before you even slip stitch, make sure you count those stitches. And when we slip stitch, we're not slip stitching with the jade or the aqua, whatever you want to call it. We are using the green. So we're slip stitching with the green guys you're going to love this round it's i call it the easy round where you just pull the loop through all the way through to your loop on your hook make sure everything's tightened up though because it can get really awkward here chain one um two and again we're not counting those two sorry i was going to put the stitch marker there we're putting a double crochet in that stitch right there that's where we put our stitch marker we, do, we never count chain two in this section of part four, five, and I'm not sure about six. I'll let you know in the future. <laughs> so double crochet. This is why I call this the easy round. Let me bring this out a little bit for you. And all you're doing is double crocheting until you get to your chain space. And if you don't want to count because you're in a hurry, I you know, would suggest counting. You know what I mean? Or at least count your sets at the end of each set. Because now that the blanket is getting bigger, it takes longer to get into the round or to the end of the round, if you will. All right, we're very close. I'm rushing now. Look at me rush. Oh my gosh, she's going so fast. I'm not that fast. I'm slowing down a little bit. <laughs> so, so you can see what I'm doing. But I am just doing my double crochets all the way across. Now this set here will not be 17 because we're not starting from the beginning. Yeah, so don't count the set yet. Okay. Once you get to your chain space, what are you doing? Chaining one, skipping the space, jumping into your first stitch and do a normal set, no increasing. That's why I call this the easy round. I love it so much. I love it so much. All right, so there you go. That's it, guys. All I want you to do is just that. Your double crochet is across, chain one on top of your chain one space, double crochet in the next all the way across, chain one, double crochet all the way across until you get to, let's just get to this space right here and then we'll talk about what we're going to do next. Alrighty guys, here we are at the end of this round. Let's bring this up a little. Now I've gotten to the part where it's chain one, skip your space and do a normal double crochet in your next, that's one two, one in your next, and three. Right, from here, you're going three, not counting the chains, 
4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Now, every one of your sets need to be 17 in the round or in each set, yeah, all the way through. So now you're going to slip stitch, but this time you're slip stitching not with the yellow, but with the blue, okay? And we'll talk about that later on in the series, maybe in part six. So what you're doing is just slip stitching into the stitch with your stitch marker and you are using your blue. All right, so grabbing your blue, slip stitching my stitch came out and just pulling it through give everything a tug everything a tug everything a tug yes and now we are doing our chain one single crochet in the same stitch as your chain one uh, grabbing your stitch marker all right and a single crochet into your next stitch you know these rounds they're super duper easy they're just single crocheting all the way across like so until you get to obviously your chain yes all right let's have a look see at that we'll get to the end we're nearly there i'm rushing 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 I know you know what you're doing, but I'm going to show you anyway. So instead of using the yellow here, we're using the blue. You get to your chain space, and what are you doing? Single crocheting over that space. Now don't forget, you've got to go into that very first stitch. You don't want to miss that, or you will be short. All right? So if you want to count, you can, but by the end of this round, you should have 378 stitches in the round. All right, so that's super duper easy. That's all you're doing. Single crochet in every stitch, single crochet over your chain space, making sure you get into your first stitch there and then single crocheting across all the way around until you get to your very last chain space there. And I'll meet you there once you're done. All righty, guys, here we are at the end of this round. I hope I'm not calling them rows because I forget sometimes. A single crochet over your chain, single into your one. Whoops, do that again without splitting it. One, two, and three across. And then you are slip stitching into the stitch with your stitch marker which was very tight for me but don't tell anyone um slip stitch into the stitch with the stitch marker using the blue so everything's the same here chain one single crochet whoops in the same stitch she's she's really fumbling today okay that goes in there like so she's all over the place again and just easy round this one oh you're going to love this one it's just single in every round the only thing is just be weary not to miss any stitches because this round, the, the rounds are getting really big now. So if you skip a stitch, that's going to put your next round out of whack. All right. By the way, you should have ended up with, and I mentioned it before, 378 single crochets in the round. Once you do this round and get to the end of this round right here, last two stitches, you will still end up with 378 stitches. So head off on your own, continue your single crochets in the round, get to your very last two or three stitches and I'll meet you there once you're done. Alrighty guys, here I am at the end of the round, single crocheting in each stitch across like so and there you go all right so now we are slip stitching into the stitch with the stitch marker but guess what we're not using the blue we're going straight back into the green oh gosh she had one job pull the green through like so make sure you tighten everything up guys yeah Make sure you tighten it all up. You're chaining a one, two, and then you are putting a double crochet in the same stitch. Yes. Oh, and pop your stitch marker in because the chain two does not act as anything yet again. And off we go with 
one double crochet. I'm sorry, that's the second one. First, second, third, and fourth. And here we're going to chain one skip one and we're going to be putting two double crochets or increasing if you will in your next stitch so two double crochets in that first stitch of your set and then another 16 across because we are increasing to 18 stitches here in this round here all right there we had uh, 17 stitches right across there by increasing we are now going to have 18 across all right so there's your two three i'm going to pop this on fast get to 18 and i'll meet you back here in a moment that was four and off we go five and 18 guys you should have 18 double crochets all together across there or two and then another 16 chain one skip one and then you're doing two double crochets into your next get too excited and that's it for this round and i'm not going to show you anymore because i know you know what you're doing now so off you go you are putting two double crochets in your first 16 across chain one skip one two in your first 16 across and then get all the way to the end of the round right here the last few stitches and i'll meet you there once you're done all righty guys here we are at the end of this round oh well <laughs> i'm the wrong way Hello, she's all over the place all right now if you wanted to be pedantic you need to count from your last section which was there so it's one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen and eighteen so you are slip stitching into that stitch but not with the green we are changing right back to oh, which is all over the place right back to the purple see the green we're going into the purple all right so dropping your green grabbing your little purple oh, she's all over the place she's all over the place it's very messy here guys because it's not i'm not working on the blanket I'm working on a piece of just a piece like you know a swatch if you will all right so there we go this round once again is an easy round let's get everything out the way chain one and two double crochet into the same stitch that you are in popping your stitch marker Rooney in there like so I do change that name up, don't I? <laughs> Pop the stitch marker in there, guys. It's not a word. No such thing as macaroni. <laughs> a double crochet into your next stitch. She's she's just just a naughty girl. Double into your next. That's your third, and a double into your fourth. Guess what, guys? Easy round this one. Chain one. Skip your space. Jump into your next stitch. But we are increasing again because this is where I was having the problems with the blanket it wasn't working well it started to become really tight pulling up so this section here is getting too wide for the increases which we'll talk about in the in the future but not now let's just pop our two double crochets in that very first stitch right there one and uh, two and then you're doing your double crochets across now if you had 18 in the previous round you will end up with 19 in this round pop this on fast for you and off we go all righty here we are at the end of this section here all right so what you should have is one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen 
and 19. Chain one, skip one, two into the first and two and off you go doing the rest. And again, I don't think you need to watch me do this because you are super champions now. <laughs> Listen to me. Oh, look, I even pulled that stitch there. We won't worry about it. I'll fix that off air. But in the meantime, you guys need to... Oh, he can't see anything here. You need to head off on your own. You need to do your 19 across. Chain one, skip one, not two in the first, and then 17. Chain one, skip one, two into the first, and then 17, which is your 19 across. All right. So head off on your own, doing your 19. Get to this very last stitch right here and get ready for what's going to happen next. Alrighty guys, here we are at the end of this round. And remember how we need to count across to make sure we add it up. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. We want to make sure we add it up at the end of the round, yeah? Or we'll be short, yeah? Slip stitching, but not with a purple, with your blue, right? This is where we are at the moment. We are right here. We've done the green, we've done the purple, and now we are on to the single crochet rounds of the blue. So we have actually gotten up to the area that we need to get to, literally to have you head off on your own and keep going however the the increases are a little odd now because the blanket is made um differently so the increases are going to be happening a little odd but in the meantime chain one single crochet into your first oh and you're adding your stitch marker there it's the same one not the first it's actually the same stitch a single crochet into your same stitch and you pretty much know this round, guys. It's single crochet until you get to your stitch marker, which is four single crochets from memory. Is that right? Yeah, four single crochets. And then single crochet into the chain space. You know it, guys. You know it. Remember to get that first stitch there. Don't miss it. And single crochet all the way across. Actually, it's very, very easy. And off we go. Too easy. Too, too easy. I think you know how to do it. And that's pretty simple. Single crochet in the round, making sure you're single crocheting in every space and making sure you are not missing that first stitch. All right, head off on your own. Single crochet in the round, get to here and I'll meet you there once you're done. All righty, guys, here we are at the end of this round. Now, we are going to do our last couple of single crochets and then I'm going to slip stitch to join right in that top stitch there with your stitch marker in it, pull the loop through and we are chaining one single crocheting in the same spot. Now before we continue, I just wanted to show you something real quickly because you know this round, it is a, well, I'll show you exactly what we're doing first. It's just a plain old single crochet all the way in the round, all the way. Hopefully you can't hear my eggs boiling in the background, guys. <laughs> all the way. I don't know why I'm talking about that, but I can actually hear them. It's quite loud. <laughs> so there you go. All right. Oh, she's a little bit silly. Single crocheting in the round, all the way in the round. However, before you go, here's um, a quick tip on how I started the counting rounds and how I do the counting rounds. When there's the double crochets across and there's 19, yeah, whenever there's a space there that makes it 20 stitches in the round, in that set, right? So if we've got 21 of these sets all the way around, it's 20, not 19, because you're counting this stitch here, times 21. So let's let's get, you know what? I'll show you the calculator. We'll clear it and I'll show you. This is my phone. <laughs> Hello, there's my phone. All right, so I go 20 times 21. And I know for a fact that I now have 420 stitches in the round. So just if you really want to get pedantic and you want to count, that's how you count. Otherwise, you can just put your 10 uh, stitch markers across and count 10, 20, 30, 40. 
Be weary though, guys, because it is easy to make a mistake, especially or to miss a stitch or add a stitch, especially when you're working with eight ply or a DK weight, because it's a lightweight cotton and it's easy to miss. All right. So anyway, don't worry about that. Just make sure you have 420 single crochets in the round. There's a little bit of trivia there. Um, and I will meet you back here right at the stitch marker here. And we'll talk about what we're going to do next. Alrighty guys, here we are at the end of this round. Oh, that didn't work. Let's come back over here. Oh, she's all over the place. Alright, so we have a couple of single crochets left to do, or I have. That's probably too close now. But here's my second last, there's my last. We are going to slip stitch into the stitch marker, but not with the blue. We're going to drop the blue, drop it, not bring it in front, and grab the purple yet again. Now, yours won't be attached. Mine's just attached because it's a small swatch. It's not the original blanket, All right? Might be attached. Anyway, pull the loop through like so. Let's just give everything a tug. Yeah. And you are going to chain one and two, double crochet in the same stitch, popping your stitch marker in there like so. All right, so we've done that. Yarn over our hook, we've done one, two, three, and four. I want you to get to your 17th stitch. I'll pop this on fast and off we go, five, Now you should be on your 17th stitch right there. Yes. All right. So that's where we are at the moment. There was the chain space from down below. So we are chaining one. Skipping one. And we're putting two double crochets in the next one and two. All right. And from here, remember before how we had 19 across? Now we're doing 20 across. All right, so there's your two. Yep. She's all over the place. There's two. I'm going to pop this on fast for you, and off we go doing 20. Two, three, and get to your 20th stitch, and off we go. And from here, what are you going to do? Right down there, see that little chain space? You chain one, skip one and two into your next one and two and one into the next and so on and so on all the way across your round. All right, so in this round, oh, here it is, bring it out. You are doing 20 across chain skip 20 across um well actually you're doing 18 across chain one skip one two and the next 18 across if you really wanted to get um the lingo correct that's exactly what you're doing all right so 20 double crochets in each set get to the end of the round right here and i'll meet you there once you're done all righty guys here we are at the end of this round all right and i'm at the part where it's a chain one skip one two into the next one and uh, two one into the next and we're going to slip stitch to join but we're going to use the jade or the aqua here we go again i've said it again jade or aqua <laughs> <laughs> Grab your jade or your aqua. Black saw. Chain one, two, double crochet in the same stitch. Get excited, guys, and I'll tell you why. Pop your stitch marker in there. 
because I'm just going to bring that loop up and I think you need to pop yourself a little stitch marker in this loop so that it doesn't come undone or we could just rejoin it again when we get to part six. <laughs> what? They're saying what? True because we are exactly, let's move that out the way, exactly where I am right here. All right, so we are right there, or you are right there. We're exactly where I am, and we're into our next jade row, or round, I should say. Now, before we continue, I just wanted to let you know that you may have found that your spaces, they tend to move a little bit. That's okay, and it's because of these because of these additions okay we've got a lot of additions now one there one there one there and one in this round as well so by adding them it's starting to move a little bit every time we do a round so don't stress if your little dots are moving it's not a problem for it to be a tiny millimeter out if it's like you one dot there and this one's right over here and then you've got that one right there and it's all over the place, then you've done something wrong. But otherwise, it should be even a little bit just on an angle, sometimes one way, sometimes the other. And again, there is no right or wrong way of doing those little chain spaces. If you found that you don't like the way it's shaping, then you may have to take your rounds undone and move your double crochets over, if that's what you want to do. But I wouldn't waste my time now. <laughs> You've done all these rounds they take a long time I wouldn't leave them there even if your chain spaces do not like look at this one it's a little bit over this way and it's a little bit that way that's normal because we are increasing here all right look don't stress too much about it it still looks simply divine as long as your stitch count was correct in these blues here which I believe was 420 stitches in the round Okay, as long as that stitch mar uh, amount is correct, your next step, part six, will work. All right. The problem I had was I wasn't, the way it worked was it wasn't increasing properly. Um, every time I increased in every second round, the blanket would curve up like that. So I kind of towards the end had to increase in the edges of every round or I had to increase there and probably one in the middle. If I did it there, all your dots would be absolutely messy. Yeah, because someone said to me, why don't you increase on both sides? And that way it'll work and it will. But your dots would work out all over the place, which, well, pretty much is doing the same anyway. Um, so don't stress too much about those little gaps. It's OK. Yeah. All right. So what I want you to do for now, before we continue on to part six next week, which um, one day next week, and I don't know what day, but let's just say one day next week, I would like for you to <laughs> do that. Weave in all these ends. Oh my gosh, there's like four million of them. Four million. They're all over the place. I got a few extras because um, I had actually wound up some of my yarn and I made, I did smaller rows and then it didn't add but I'd already cut so I've ended up with all these little pieces <laughs> bibs and bobs everywhere that's the only reason why I've got smaller rounds and I had to change my yarn in different sections all right but that didn't happen to you because you didn't do that part first I did it I messed it up took it undone and I did it three times and all three times the count did not work the blanket was like that and pulling yeah whereas now it's kind of just settled with the extra addition all right I'm not going to talk anymore guys I'm going to let you head off on your own and weave in all your ends and I will see you all back here in a week's time for our pretty as a peacock blanket now isn't it simply divine it's a little bit all creased because I squash it all up to work with um, but you know this is what you worked on today <laughs> It's upside down. I oh, know it's the right way. You worked on this small piece today. 
So join us guys again in a week's time to get on to part six. I don't know if it's going to be the final part. I will let you know. But also don't forget to join us on our lives at 4 p.m. Wednesday afternoons and 10 a.m. Saturday mornings. Now this is a Melbourne, Australia time. So marry up your time if you're from overseas. Um, and we do that every week. Saturday morning we also do a thing called Live Antics where you as a subscriber gets to choose a colour combination for our very next project. Get excited. Thank you so much for watching and all I want to say right now is ciao for now.